guys, welcome to your um, energy check-in for Leo. This is going to be for your May 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Saturn. Like I said, this could be in any of your placements. So um, we are going to take a look and see uh, what your over energies are, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect for May. Um, second half of May, and then we'll finish off the reads to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. Apply this to your own unique situations. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective uh, Leo people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored, specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The uh, link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my new YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. So, Leo. Tell about Leo. Over energies for Leo. What is surrounding Leo? What does Leo need to know for the second half of their May from the 16th to the 31st? We have furred and feathered friends. Transformation. Evolution here. Okay. Seems like you guys are going through a spiritual transformation at this time. Here's the thing. You've been guided towards your spiritual transformation here with your connection here with animals, okay? So I feel like your connection with animals, so basically, I mean, these could be animals just in the wild or that you could you guys could have your own animals, you know? And I feel like these animals have been guiding you towards your higher self here. So I do feel like you guys are going through some sort of spiritual transformation, some sort of spiritual ascension here. I mean, these animals could also be your guides or your ancestors here too that's guiding you. Uh, perhaps in the past, like you might have been an animal, okay? Uh, but I do feel like there is a strong connection here with the elements, such as Mother Earth, you know, uh, such as nature and stuff like that. And I do feel like this transformation that you're going through is one of the biggest transformations of your life here, okay? Because I do feel like you're going through some, a sense of release, I do feel like you're connecting with yourself. You're connecting with your higher self here. You're connecting with you. Basically, what's true to your core here, okay? So this is really beautiful, okay? Let's see what else we have. Yeah, there could be some major cycles that are ending here too. It's interesting because I also feel like, you know, for some of you guys with, uh, with fur, uh, fur and feathered friends, you know, some of you guys could have lost an animal or a pet here, okay? Uh, you know, this could be indication with transformation to evolution for that individual pet. You know, they're going through some sort of transformation here because they're leaving the body. They're leaving the vessel here, right? So uh, what else do we have here for? Leo. What else does Leo need to know, look out for, work on for May 2024? Second half of May 2024, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Saturn for Leo. For Leo. So with the Queen of Cups and the Knight of Wands here. Okay. Now, in around you, I mean, there could be someone here that's chasing you here, too, with the Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, with Pisces. But it could be that you've changed so much as a person here. You know, this is not the type of person that you want to be around. So that's why you have your back, uh, back turned away from this individual here. So one of the things I'm getting is that I feel like you've changed a lot. You know, one of the things I'm getting here, this transformation, this evolution is uh, a, a thing where I feel like you're not letting people take advantage of you or that you're strong, creating strong, firm boundaries with people here. Okay, we have the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and the Knight of Pentacles here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo.
you guys are focusing on your healing here. You guys are focusing on disengaging people that are not adding value to your life. So this evolution is a, a, a way where I feel like, you know, you are sort of a cleaning house. So, you know, these people are automatically, you know, eventually going to walk out of your life or something like that. Okay. So I feel like you guys are really focusing on connecting with yourself, your higher self here. And also you guys, you know, are spending a lot of time meditating at this time. Okay. Or that if there's a need for that, if you guys are not doing it enough with the Knight of Wands here, why is the Knight of Wands here? The Knight of Wands here and the devil. Okay. So I feel like this evolution is in this transformation is a way for you to sort of like let go of toxic people here too, okay? So I do feel like, you know, there has been uh, toxic people in around you here that I feel like you're trying to release at this time here with the hangman here and the eight of cups, yeah. So I feel like you're walking away from people at this time. Yeah, I just feel like you're vibing really high at this time here, Leo. You really are. And I feel like it has a lot to do with spending time with animals here and spending time in nature. Um, some of you guys could be vets or something like that. You know, some of you guys could, you know, care for wild animals, okay? Uh, you know, or that you guys have studied animals. But there's a strong connection with the animals here with the full Aries energy. Yeah, it seems like you guys are definitely in this energy of, you know, taking some big risk here and also, you know, kind of like enjoying life, enjoying the experience that you guys are having at this time. Even though it might be tough to let people go and close out relationships here with people, you know, I just feel like you're doing it with grace here. Uh, you know, I feel like you're doing it for yourself. You know, I feel like you're finding stability and happiness at this time here. And I feel like right now you're, you know, kind of like, your fire has been lit. A lot of you guys are focusing on your passions at this time, focusing on finding stability and happiness. You know, there could be an indication that some of you guys could be starting a new business or something like that surrounding the home. You know, it could be real estate. It could be interior decorating here. It could be, you know, something with like uh, real estate. I did say real estate. Like home insurance, okay. But, you know, I do feel like this transformation that you're going through is really big. It's huge here. And you feel like you're definitely being guided by animals, perhaps the universe here. I do feel like the water ele element is very, very, very strong and potent for you guys and very healing and very cleansing for you guys. So I feel like, you know, if you guys um, don't take salt baths or that you guys don't spend a lot of time around water, you know, I feel like it's important for you guys to do that, okay? This is going to help with your spiritual growth and your personal growth here and your healing, all right? So, Leo. I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.